If we talk a little bit about planning, um, uh, planning departments, conservation departments, uh, they do vary from area to area, uh, which, you know, the interpretation of the rules and regulations, but generally as a rule of th thumb, a listed building uh, will need listed building consent if we're replacing or someone wants to replace the sashes with double blazing sashes um, or any such like alteration to the design of the window, it will have to go through listed building consent uh, to get approval. If it's in a conservation area, again, it depends on areas. Um, some want like for like replacements. You can have slim double blazing, but they still want like for like in design so it does vary and it's always best to check with the local planning officer or building control etc to see what you can do in an area you can actually have a article 4 direction uh, that is something that the uh, local council may uh, have put on an area uh, so it's basically stopping in an area any building work or improvements to the building that ordinarily wouldn't require uh, building consent it's put a restriction on an area because they've realized that the area is has some historic importance so it's like putting this on the area to stop future uh, degradation of, of windows and such like so um, it's always best to find out and we do at Ventrola we look at areas and particular properties um, if it requires uh, consent etc if we've got to change any any timber any joinery so as a rule of thumb it's up to the um, the homeowner or property owner to apply for listed building uh, approval. What, what planning officers will often want if you're going for some kind of planning consent on a listed building is a heritage statement or, or such like, which explains how old the building is, you know, um, what you're proposing to do, usually involves photographs of elevations listed uh, of what's going to impact so it's an impact statement as well if you like so so yeah it's um it's a document that we can help with um but it is up up to the client to apply for planning permission but any drawings that's needed uh to follow that through we can certainly help with